Hello, I'm Bob France from the Customer Engineering Department at Expansion. We're the group that works to the benefit of our customers, mutual customers with our chipset companies to make sure that our parts are already integrated and running well with the chipset platforms. Today I'm going to give you a demonstration on a Freescale IMX28 board showing our serial flash and comparing the performance of single bit serial I.O. mode and quad bit serial I.O. mode. It's connected up to an oscilloscope that we'll use to demonstrate the timing and the performance advantages in the two modes. Now let's take a closer look at the board. This is an IMX28 board from Freescale with the ARM core. It's running at a little over 50 megahertz and the part will switch back and forth between single I.O. mode that clocks all of the data on a single output versus quad I.O. which uses four outputs and puts the data out then four bits at a time per clock cycle. In single I.O. mode our top end in speed is 104 megahertz and in quad I.O. our top end is 80 megahertz and at 80 megahertz quad I.O. we get about 40 megabytes a second so this platform runs at about half of the maximum of the flash device. You can see we're getting about 6.2, 6.1 megabytes in single mode. If we touch the screen and put it into quad I.O. mode you can see it's between 21 and 22. The way it gets the measurement is it reads the last 16 kilobytes of the flash device five times and then it takes the peak of those five times and displays that on the LCD screen. Now let's take a look at the signals on the oscilloscope. The top channel in yellow is the serial out from the serial flash and it's reading the flash. You can see the flash is being read five times in 16 kilobyte chunks. The middle line is the clock and the bottom line, the third channel, is the chip select which as you can see is an active low signal. I've got the cursors turned on and you can see that for each of the 16 kilobyte chunks it takes about 2.7 milliseconds, 2.68 milliseconds to do the transfer. If I now touch the screen and put the system into quad I.O. mode you can see that it's much faster. In this case we're generating four bits of output on four different lines reusing some other pins and we output those four bits on every clock pulse. So if I move the cursor over you can see now that it's between 750 microseconds and 800 microseconds per 16 kilobyte transfer. The other data lines aren't shown on the oscilloscope but there would be three other lines that we could connect up that show the other data outputs. This effectively demonstrates why quad bit is faster without having to increase the clock speed by enabling the transfer of four bits per clock. For those of you who might not be familiar with the SPI protocol, we'll take a look at how it works and what it looks like on an oscilloscope. We're going to look at a serial stream that's one bit wide, so it has a single data channel. It's shown here in yellow on channel one. The line in the middle in blue are the clock pulses on the serial clock, and the bottom is chip enable, which for this shot will be permanently low. If I zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see what's going on, now we're at 20 nanoseconds per division and you can see between these purple cursor lines here's the clock. As the clock falls the processor will see a value of 1. In the next pulse it'll, as the clock falls it'll see a value of 0. So from left to right you would see a 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and so on. That's the basic principle behind the SPI protocol. In quad I.O. it works exactly the same except that the data comes out on four lines and so you have a four times performance improvement as each clock pulse now clocks in four bits into the processor. So basically that's how the quad I.O. gives you a four times speed up without having to speed up the system clock. So that wraps up our demo of the serial flash today on the IMX28 platform. We looked at both the single bit I.O. mode as well as the quad bit I.O. mode and we looked at the performance advantages of having four bits per clock cycle and the important thing there is that even though there are a lot of benefits to the SPI protocol uh, in single bit mode, reduced pin count and board complexity savings, you can still realize those benefits in quad mode but you can get a much higher throughput, um, in our case up to about 40 megabytes a second. So thank you very much for your time, and if you have any further questions, you can go to expansion.com for additional information.